people say, my person makes me want to be better. And I, I think it's clear to people that some haven't seen me in a while, they, they don't even recognize me as much because you have literally made me better. I knew that if I was ever going to start dating, I had to have a list of non-negotiables I needed in a man. I knew that I needed a man of faith, a man of integrity, a man of strength, principle, and character, someone who is very considerate of others, who is unselfish and very giving, like his beautiful mother, and reliable and dependable and a great communicator. That is like a description of Jim. You are all those things and so much more. I had no idea how far God would exceed my expectations. There's so many things that I didn't know I needed, and God planted those in our hearts, and I see how He orchestrated this. Monica is the best. She's a hard worker. She's a wonderful mother. She's generous, thoughtful, she's kind, and of course, gorgeous. And since we were only six months apart, she was like the sister that I never had. When Monica told me that she had met someone, I was skeptical at first because she's picky, as she should be. But after I met him the very first time, I knew right away this was the man for her. She fell in love with his sense of humor, his charm, his wit his integrity, he checked all the boxes for her. I could not be happier for the two of you. Oh my God, you're beautiful. You're a vision. You make me so happy. We make the most of every day, and I love that, that you and we do that. Jim has very similar qualities as Monica. They share a love of Jesus. They are passionate about their families. They are both smart, hardworking, caring. They love cooking good food and drinking great wine. But most importantly, they adore each other, as we all can tell. Jim, we are so happy to have you as a part of our family. We're all so excited for all the fun times that we're gonna have in the future and I wish you nothing but the best in your life together. May each day be full of love and laughter between the two of you. I love you both so much. Cheers. When you guys come together on a day like today, the words Jesus used to describe this, he said this coming together of two human beings, he said it's becoming one flesh. And it's more than just a physical act. It's more than just something you do in front of family and friends. It's the heart, it's the mind, it's the emotions, all of it coming together. It's the mingling of your stories and your lives. That's what's taking place. All of you by being here, you're showing your support for them. And uh, maybe today you came as Jim's friend. <laughs> maybe you came as Monica's friend, but you're leaving here as their friend together. You draw me out in ways that I never knew I needed. Not that everything is a competition, but I love that we're both giving people. But everything kind of is a competition, but I win. I win in this way, because I get you. I just want you to know, I'm not going to give up until we find a game that you can win at. I... <laughs> yes, I did. Yes, I did. Through our time together, I've learned that I never want to be without you, and I'm so glad that we're making this official.
is now my privilege by the power vested in me by the gospel of Jesus Christ to pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. It is my privilege to introduce to all of you for the first time, Jim and Monica Goulet. Second time I met Monica, I was at the Gemini Pub. Hi, Monica, it's so great to see you. And she said, I know that you and Patrice play this card game named Pitch. I said, yeah. She said, Jim's teaching me, and we're gonna kick your ass. <laughs> so I said, that's it. This is the, this, Jim just found the right match, and, and you did. I love you both. May God bless this marriage. Love you. Cheers. <laughs>